skaters welcome back and thanks for tuning in in today's video i'm gonna focus on inline skating protection i think it's a very important thing because if we're not on point with the protection it can go terribly wrong and this goes for all skaters whether you're a newcomer or a beginner who obviously need a little extra protection or if you are an experienced skater you still got to take care of yourself when you're out skating it's a dangerous sport we can go really fast and some people consider it an extreme sport for this i received these protection equipment from Spassif that sent me these. It only took two days to actually get it and I paid less than $20 American dollars. So um, I'm gonna make a little review of these and then I'm gonna go through all the equipment and how to mount it uh, for you in order to be safe when you're out skating. So in this box from Spassif, it comes, like I said, for less than $20 and it was delivered in, in two days. They say two to four days. I, I ordered it on Amazon. Um, this is pretty quick and it comes with these wrist guards then they have elbow protectors and then there is the knee protectors so my personal recommendation if you're completely new to inline skating i would just go with all of it obviously you gotta wear a helmet as well in professional skating that's mandatory and if you don't want to risk a concussions i really recommend everybody to wear a helmet at all time and on the top of a helmet the um, the least ex less experience you have the more equipment you should wear um of all these things i really want to highlight the wrist guards and the knee protectors because obviously elbows are important as well if you don't want ugly scars or scratch your elbows but the thing you get out of knee protectors is that you feel more comfortable so if you feel a little unstable and you sense that you're about to crash Instead of panicking, trying to do a weird roll fall and then end up breaking your collarbone or whatsoever, you're just going to be a little more secure and you know that you can just lean forward and then put your knees to the ground because you're going to slide instead of ripping your skin off or breaking any bones. So having these is just as much as is a, an insurance if something happens. It is also just what makes you a little more comfortable and that's what you need to break your barriers and improve your skating. Kind of same thing goes for the wrist guards. When you have wrist guards, you don't really overthink. If you feel uncomfortable, you know you can always put your hands down and that's just gonna make it nicer knowing that they're there. And trust me, I spent way too much time in my early years of skating without protection and that's why my knees are full of ugly scars today. So don't ever go down on equipment like I told you. These are only $20, so it's really worth spending that money. On the top of that, these have some sort of cushion so um, even though they're made out of plastic you do fall on them quite softly and they're gonna absorb some of that bumping on the top of that they're breathable which for me is a big plus because if you're skating in the summer which i think most of us are um it gets really warm when you have big knee pads like this on your knees and your elbows and you feel maybe a little over equipped and it gets warm and you get sweaty and i know from my mom that she didn't like that when i was younger coming back with all this sweaty equipment just laying in the house um so these are breathable and you're not gonna overcook when wearing them in just a few seconds i'm gonna show you how to mount these and how to actually skate with them um same goes for the helmet helmets there's this new system called mips mips which i also recommend because that's a little safer um, but it also comes at a higher price, but think twice because of all the things you could save money on, your health and well-being is probably not the first thing you should go on and save money. So before I head out for an inline skate, I'm going to make sure that I'm wearing all the necessary equipment. First off, I'm going to put on my helmet because that's mandatory. Make sure you have a helmet that fits you well. It should be pretty close to your head all the way around it, so it won't be... It won't be moving too much if you shake your head around. Also, make sure that it covers the right areas of the head. So you have it like this, it's not gonna protect your forehead if I fall forwards. So it should fit. Same goes with the strap, it should be tight. You should still be able to breathe, but it shouldn't move around. Once I got that, I'm gonna put on my knee guards from Spassive, the protectors. It's pretty easy to slide up here. They fit well. And then you use these Velcro bands to tighten. There's two of them, so you can make sure it fits you at the bottom and at the top. You can also decide how tight you'd like them to be. Uh, personally, I like them pretty tight. Not sure why, uh, maybe just because it makes me feel a little more safe if I go for downhill skates or 
or whatsoever. It won't hurt as long as you get it still still have a blot flow throughout. It shouldn't be too bad. I'm gonna tighten those two. Then when it comes to the elbows, kind of the same idea. The only difference is that they're smaller. So that's one thing you gotta remember uh, when you open a package like that. These are gonna be smaller. And those are the ones you would need up here for the elbows. Personally, I wouldn't wouldn't use these, but I've also skated for a ton of years. So that's why I feel a little more comfortable skating without them, even for downhill or motor pace sessions. But if you're new to skating, it really won't hurt. And these are black like that. You almost don't even notice them. So it won't make you look uncool or anything when you're out skating. Um, if anything, taking care of yourself is pretty cool. Just gonna slide on the other one. You're gonna notice these are pretty light actually, which I find to be a big plus because the only big drawback I could see in wearing protection is is that you're not as as mobile. You kind of limiting your movement, but with these, I feel like I'm comfortable moving as much as I would want to. Finally, for the hands, I'm gonna put on these. Again, they have Velcro, so you can you can attach them however firmly you'd like on your wrist. See they have this little hole for the thumb to go through, which makes it pretty nice. And it's kind of the same system with the wet crow that goes through a hole. And then you just tighten it. Most of this is very individual, how tight you would want it to be. But again, my preference is that almost the tighter the better. Um, but again, they're super simple to loosen. So when you're out skating, you can always just loosen them up if you feel that they're a little too tight or tighten them a little more if you feel that they're too loose, of course. Just gonna put the last one on so you can see how the full, full gear looks. And that's about it. Now I've got everything on. I am ready to put on my skates and go out and have fun safely. And again, just to demonstrate when you get better at skating, if you don't want to wear all this equipment, what you're going to do first is that you're going to take off the elbow protectors because those are really the ones you, you need the least. But again, just there's no reason to not wear all of this until you feel perfectly comfortable leaving it behind. And remember, the helmet is always mandatory and trust me, you would rather wear these than having all the scars you would get after years of skating. Next up, I'm just going to take on my skates and go do what I love the most, inline skating. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you're interested in these specific Spassive protectors that I recommend, they're really easy to get on Amazon and the price is pretty extraordinary. I'd say $20 is not a lot of money for what you get out of it. I'll leave a link below for you guys to check that out. I, I can only recommend it and I can only recommend taking care of yourself. Thanks a lot for watching this video and all my other videos are obviously available on Victor Tharb YouTube channel. I'll see you around for, for the next video. Thanks for watching.